The Gabon military coup we go down as one of the biggest scams we've seen in Africa in recent years. We've witnessed different forms of military coup, especially in West Africa. But there is something off about the case of Gabon. You have to look closely to critical information and data that will be exposed in this video for you to really understand the gimmicks, tricks and games that has been played and executed by the Bongo family. Immediately after the so-called military coup in Gabon, which happened on the 30th of August, Ali Bongo was placed on house arrest, which simply means that his movements were heavily restricted. He was under 24-hour strict surveillance, where security personnel and security guards were mounted in his apartment. Ali Bongo was closely watched by security personnel and security guards, who were mounted to prevent or resist him from escaping or leaving his residence. But something very, very interesting happened a couple of hours after the so-called military coup in Gabon. Ali Bongo, under strict surveillance and under house arrest, managed to make a video instructing Gabonese, the people of Gabon, to make noise. But Ali Bongo made this video in English, which is not the first or official language of Gabon. See, if Ali Bongo wanted to effectively communicate with the people of Gabon, he should have made the video in French or in Fang which is widely spoken in the country. But instead, Ali Bongo made this video in English. The fact here is, Ali Bongo wasn't directly trying to communicate with the people of Gabon. Because if he wants the people of Gabon to come to his rescue or to make noise, he would have passed such information in French, which is a language widely spoken in Gabon. In that same video, Ali Bongo did not show any form of fear. But that's not all. How is it possible for a man who is being placed under house arrest where security personnel and security officers have been mounted to watch him closely. How did he find the time and space to sit down and make a video instructing the people to make noise and create awareness? Ali Bongo also had the F-Entry to post that same video on the internet. In a proper military coup settings, such videos can lead to bloodshed. But no, Ali Bongo did not even think about the possible outcomes from such videos. He did not care about his son, his son who has been charged for treason, or his wife who is nowhere to be found. If Ali Bongo really cares about the life of his son or his wife, he wouldn't have made such video and also posted it online for the whole wide world to see. There is something very, very fishy in this military coup in Gabon. Interestingly, the military personnel who executed the military coup in Gabon is also a relative, is a cousin of Ali Bongo, which simply means that this guy still wants power to remain in the family. The people of Gabon already are celebrating this military coup, but they fail to understand that power still remains in the Bongo family one way or the other. And this is not the first time Ali Bongo has pulled up a calculated and a very strategic move to make his leadership very smooth and easy for him. See, Ali Bongo is a very smart man. He knows how to draw international audience down to Gabon. He knows how to create various forms of scenes and scenario so as to bring international views and audience down to the country called Gabon. Even though Ali Bongo has partial stroke, this man is still a genius, a genius in the wrong way. This man effortlessly learned all of the tricks from his father. Back in 1973, the very point when the Bongo family chose to make Gabon a family business, Ali Bongo together with his father changed their religion. These guys moved from Christianity down to Islam and this was done strategically to draw and to attract Arab countries down to the oil rich country of Gabon. And this was also done to enable smooth relationship between Gabon and the Arab countries. So the question here is why will Ali Bongo plan his own military coup? Why will he plan for a military to overthrow him in his own government? Well the answer is very very easy. Other long-term presidents in Africa, for instance, like Paul Bia, Paul Bia recently reshuffled his military ranks. And this was done effectively to prevent any forms of military coup in Cameroon. Other long-term leaders in Africa gradually are creating various policies and making different pathways to prevent any form of military coup. And this might be Ali Bongo's way and method to prevent military coup in Gabon. And that is why probably his cousin was chosen to fake a military coup so as to keep power, to retain power in the Bongo family one way or the other. Ali Bongo, like I said, is a very smart and intelligent leader. Africans have underestimated his capabilities, maybe because this man has partial stroke. Many things he's not capable of executing various plans and strategies. 
so as to stay and remain in power for a long time. Ali Bongo has tested military coup before. Back in 2019, Ali Bongo, together with his military, restored power back from a military junta who tried to overthrow him in Gabon. Ali Bongo is a man who is power hungry. This man wants to remain in power as long as he can and he also plans to make his son the next president of the country. And that is why during the elections in Gabon, this man executed various plans and strategies to make sure he rigs and he makes sure he remains in power for as long as he can. This man knew that the past elections in the country is one of the strongest elections that could probably unseat him. And that is why he did everything in his power to make sure he rigs the elections in full force. Immediately after the country's elections, Ali Bongo cut off all internet access in the country and also prevented international observers into the country. This was done effectively to prevent Gabonese from spreading all of his electoral malpractices for the whole world to see. Ali Bongo, regardless of his age, is fully aware of the potentials and the power social media together with internet holds in this generation. And that is why he quickly ordered for the disconnection of all internet service in Gabon and also closed his borders from international observers into the country. All of these things were done to effectively manipulate the elections. And when Ali Bongo noticed that a lot of Gabonese noticed that the elections weren't free and fair, a lot of Gabonese noticed that the elections were filled with electoral malpractices, he had to fake a military coup so as to quiet his opposition or to prevent any form of uprising coup in the country. Ali Bongo is a very intelligent man. This man wants the Bongo family to be in power to rule Gabon for a very, very long time. And that is why he effortlessly planned for a military coup in his own country and his own government. This is a very, very interesting one. But unfortunately, these guys failed to close up all their tracks and trails and they left a lot of data that one can put together and notice the gimmicks and antics that has been played out and orchestrated by the Bongo family. The Gabon military coup is just a smoke screen. There are a lot of things happening behind closed doors. A lot of events and formations are being planned behind the scenes. And all of these things will gradually unfold within some weeks or in days. If all of these assertions are true, this will go down as one of the biggest scams ever experienced in the continent of Africa. Africa is a very rich continent. We have a lot of natural resources. We have a lot of gifts from God. And that is why we need proper leaders. We need leaders with foresight to lead various countries to development. We will get basic information in the next couple of days. And this military coup, this false military coup in Gabon, replicates all of the actions in the political scenes in Nigeria. If you want to see how the Gabon military coup is a replica of Nigerian's political scenes, click on the video showing right here on your screen. Click on that video and I will see you there.